Instrument Flight Simulator is a text mode flight simulator for CPM which uses standard ASCII characters to display an instrument panel for the plane. I found this on the Walnut Creek CD and uh, I want to show a little bit about it today. So if we have a look at the uh, file itself. We'll be able to see that the file is uh, 20k in size. And if we uh, start it by typing fly K Pro, we can see that uh, it's configured for a K Pro. Now I'm running this on a Commodore 128, uh, but that's fine because, um, in actual fact, all it really needs is a terminal that's compatible with an ADM 3A terminal, uh, which the Commodore 128 is. This is a K Pro. So if I uh, press enter to start the program, and uh, that will come up. So the idea of this simulator is that it's simulating the landing phase of an aircraft flight. So if we have a look at the instructions, and there we are, we can see the controls. So um, we use the, uh, the numeric keypad to control it, so we can change the, uh, the, uh, the, the power of the plane, we can turn left or right or fly straight on, and we can change the uh, where the nose is, uh, the uh, pitch. So um, nice and easy, nothing more th than that as far as the controls are concerned. And uh, if we look at the next page of the help, and there we are, we can see that the uh, ground radar controller or air traffic control will talk us down from 2,500 feet until we land. On the way, we have to be careful that we don't stall, and we also need to be aware that there's a 100 foot hill at the far end of the runway. So, um, yeah, it seems fairly simple, and in many respects it is. Uh, it's just a question of, then, of learning how to play it properly. So we'll begin by pressing a key to uh, start the game. And there we are. You can see it's displaying the instrument panel. So on the left we have the altitude and the rate at which we're climbing, and then in the middle the direction that we're heading. Below that we can get an idea of the roll of the aircraft. And then top right we have the communications, which is the aircraft control tower. Below that, fuel, and there we are, we're in radar contact now. So it'll start telling us what it wants us to do. So we need to descend to 1500 feet. So I'll start pointing the aircraft down by uh, pressing number 5. And I'll also, I need to start uh, turning to the right to head to 333. I'll do that by pressing number three, and that will turn me to the right. Okay, so that will continue turning. Um, our height is descending, so that's good. And then, as we get down uh, to, um, as we get to the direction of a uh, three, 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 we start heading in that direction. Then I'll. Uh, I'll level the plane off. Okay, so um, below the fuel, uh, or at least below communications, we've got the amount of fuels that we have left, and then below that we've got a stall warning. So we have to watch out to make sure we don't stall the plane, which I think if you go below 75 miles an hour, that will stall. So we're still descending, and we're still turning right and we're uh, going to aim for uh, 333. At the bottom of the display you can see the airspeed, which is about 130 at the moment, and below that you can see the amount of power, which I'm going to decrease now so that uh, so we don't run out of fuel, and so that will help us to descend. We're almost heading 333, so I press the number 2, and that will allow us to fly straight now. I'm going to lower the fuel a little bit more to help us descend a bit quicker. I'm 
uh, soon it'll give us some other instructions as to what it wants to do next. We're starting to get quite low on fuel now, so hopefully that won't be an issue. So we need to slow the aircraft to 90 miles an hour. So I'll reduce the power further. I'm going to turn right to head to 338 as instructed. And then level off. I need to reduce the power a little bit more. Right, so I'm a bit low at the moment, so I'm going to change the pitch. So I'm going to press the number 4 key to change the pitch of the aircraft. And then I'm descending too quickly. And be careful not to stall. There they are, 88 feet too low at the moment. Raise that a little bit. Put them on the glide path, okay, so this is looking good. So I need to make sure that I keep on this glide path to uh, turn left to head to 337. Okay, let's try that again. There we are. So I'm turning left. So we're now heading to 337. I'm still on the glide path. If you look below the climb, you can see the rate at which I'm descending. So I'm uh, descending at 10 feet per second. To turn left to head to 334. So everything's still going well so far. We're getting very low on fuel though, which could be an issue. Okay, so we turn left again. Things are going well. I'm still on the glide path. Oh, that fuel 17, counting down. Sixty foot too high, so I need to pitch down a little bit. Not too much. I've got no fuel. Okay. So on the glide path though, and we're um, descending a bit too quickly. Just a bit too low now. So I'll try and increase pitch. I've got no fuel though, so I'm totally relying on airspeed. Oh, dear me. There we are. I died. <laughs> but uh, still, You've got a good idea there of how it works, and um, I can see it in operation. Well, I hope you enjoyed seeing Instrument Flight Simulator being played. It's a nice little fun game, and it shows quite well uh, what you can do with just ASCII characters and a bit of creativity. So uh, do subscribe to the YouTube Tech Tinkering channel, and also have a look at the accompanying article on the Tech Tinkering website.